Hi y'all, I'm Amanda. Welcome to my channel. Today's video is a try on from our favorite Shein uh, Fit Plus or Curve Plus, whatever they're calling it these days. But these things are from Shein's Extended Plus range. For size reference, I always share that I'm a Torrid size 6 and I say that because I know that it is so universally accessible especially in the States. Torrid size 6 is a little larger than the size 6X from a lot of other companies. Just in case you're not familiar, my upper body is closer to a 5X, but I typically buy a size 6 to go over my lower body. I've been checking out some jeans from Lane Bryant recently and picked up some 3840s and 3436s. I am today wearing Lane Bryant jeans for the majority of the video. Just in case you're curious, my bra size is a 50C or a 48D. I am five foot four. Hopefully that's everything you need to know about my sizing. When I order from Shein, I typically get whatever is the largest size they have available. A Chinese 8X is really similar to the sizing of a Torrid 6. The one nice thing about shopping with Shein is that when you pick your size, a little chart will pop up that shows the actual measurement for the real garment that you're gonna buy, not just a size chart. So you can see if it will fit your hips, if it'll fit your bust, your waist, whatever. Um, I find that there's a lot available from Shein in my size range, and that availability is only increasing. The caveat about Shein is that it is fast fashion. It is the fastest fashion of the fast fashion things that you can find in the extended plus size range. And there are questions about the ethics of their production and employment and sourcing and all those things. So I don't necessarily advocate for Shein. I typically prefer things from like Torrid or Universal Standard. Um, I wish that there were things in the designer range that were available for my size. So Shein becomes one of the only options for people in this size range. I typically don't buy bottoms from Shein because they're sized drastically smaller. A lot of the larger sizes with Shein you can find hips that are 80 or more inches and in the bottoms they typically go up to about 60 to 65 so 15 inches is quite a bit of difference in circumference so their pants either their pants are sized down quite a bit for a smaller person or they want their tops to fit really 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 large which may be the case um, I know that Oversized clothes is quite a trend with younger folks, and I tend to like oversized clothes myself, which I've been accused of on this channel, and it is definitely true I like oversized or baggy clothes. Please also subscribe if you want to stick around and be part of the family, and ring the bell if you want to be notified when I post my next video. Let's get into it. So I mentioned this sweatshirt in one of my last two videos at the very end where I was opening some packages uh, fresh out of the post, and this sweatshirt was one of the things that came separate from my big big part of my order. So this is a smiley face sweatshirt. They do go all the way down to the hem, just about. And the print is only on the front, but I love these pastels and the variety of the faces and the little checker print, which is of course super, super popular right now. Um, the sweatshirt is not super stretchy. It is a size 32, 34. It is made of a material that's more similar to like um, a thick, vintage jersey like a like a uh, team jersey so it has that kind of poly non super stretch it's not terribly fuzzy on the inside it's more like a french terry feel but um i still recommend this i haven't washed it yet i don't know if this type of graphic that's printed on top um will peel off and crack, but that's not a huge deal to me. I, If I keep my Shein clothes after I try them on, I typically don't expect them to last a long time, even though I try to take care of them. So this is probably something I would wash on delicate in cold water, wrong side out, to try to preserve the graphic. Um, you'll notice my stand up that this is a little closer fitted to my bottom half of my body. Let's take a look at this sweatshirt.
This next uh, smocked blouse is quite a cutie. I also previewed this one in that same video where I showed um, some items that were just fresh out of the post. This has a smocked front, as you can see here with all these nice gathers. It's plenty roomy in the top. This is a size 32, 34, or an 8X as well. Um, the blouse features these cute little black hearts on kind of an ivory background. The shirt does feel very polyester-ish, so I may not keep it, but gosh, if this was in like a cotton or a satin or something a little nicer, I would surely keep it. I like the fit of it as well as the look of it. Um, in typical fashion for me, the cuffs are too big, so they come over my hand a little bit but that is a fairly easy fix um, either myself or with the alterations shop depending on how involved we want to get but i could at least just move the button and and have it be fine um the neck of this has a button in the back as well but i did not have to unfasten it to get it over my head which uh you probably can tell if you're looking at how much i messed my hair up so this is um full length on me it is not what i would consider tunic length but I think if you are trying to hide or flatter a bigger belly or bum, then you would probably like this shirt. I'll be sure to leave any links that I can or descriptions or item numbers in the description bar so you can find these if you want to find them on Shein's website. Let's take a look at this top. All right, let's get a look at this cute little sweater. So this is a size 2830. This is a nicer knit sweater with a couple of these um, funky little patterns in it. It has a couple little squiggles um, in the arm that is not easy to show you. Um, these have a nice texture. So these, I wondered if these were iron-ons on the arm, but they're not. They're knitted into the fabric. They're just a little stiffer than the regular, than the rest of the body of the sweater. I do believe this is largely acrylic. Yeah, this is 100% acrylic, but machine washable, so that's nice. Um, this is not as long as some of you might like, but it's definitely not cropped. And the print is only on the front, not on the back. There's another piece of print down a little lower on this hip that I will be sure to show you when I stand up. Overall, this one's a cutie. This feels like the quality that you might pick up from Target or Walmart if they sold clothes in this size range. Even though this one's a 2830 instead of a 3234 like most of the things that I pick up, I believe number one this was the largest size available but number two I was able to look at that sizing information and determine that it would most likely work for me because I know my measurements. So if you don't know your measurements I highly recommend taking the time to do that. There are a lot of companies where that can help you with your sizing especially if you like to shop eShakti and get clothes that are custom made to the size of your body, but that is for another day. I will probably place any Shakti order soon and have a couple things to show you for spring. Speaking of spring, it's just barely the beginning of March when I'm filming this, and I live in the Midwest, so we do still have a little bit of chilly weather before we head full on into spring. So this lightweight sweater is um, still very wearable for this time of year, and it's definitely the quality that would last multiple seasons, so I look forward to adding this to my collection. Let's take a look. Ooh-wee, all these sweaters to put on. I'm glad that I am not worried about my hair today. All right, so this sweater is also a 2830 or a 7X. Um, this one has mostly print on the front, but it does have a little bit of stripe in the back. Of course, it has a big, wide aqua stripe across my booty, so <laughs> if that bothers you, it's something to think about, but I personally couldn't care less. Um, this is another mid-weight sweater. It certainly is not super thick, but it's also not a fine gauge knit. 
Um, this feels like it will last season after season. Again, I'm really uh, surprised or pleased, I guess, with the quality of these acrylic sweaters. I think that like if I were shopping with um, a friend or my mom or something, like you could see this at Kohl's or Macy's and not necessarily be surprised at Target. So it's just a nice basic soft acrylic sweater. I absolutely adore the colors of this. The sleeves uh, have color all the way around even though the stars are just on the front. The length on this one is good. Again, it's really similar to the last one, maybe just a pinch longer. It does have banding around the bottom. It does have this binding and this is what the weaving looks like on the reverse side. In fact, uh, depending on what's going on with the tags and the, and the seams, this might look really cute wrong side out. Hmm, you're gonna have to investigate that. So this is a sweater that I will be keeping as well as probably the next one I'm about to show because I'm crazy about the color. But first, let's take a look at the colors on this beauty. Next up is this cute, cute pink sweater, very neon pink. This also is in a size 2830 or a Chinese 7X. And as always, if you hear the little bells and crazy noises, it's just the three cats running around being crazy today because of course they decide to do that every time I film. Um, if I were being totally picky and it were my dream sweater, I would like for the neck to be a little closer up here and then have the notch, but that's just personal preference. Um, this has cuffs that allow it to not go over my hand too terribly bad. And this is a high-low sweater, so even though it's in the same size as the last two, it's a little bit shorter, especially in the front. If I were wearing this and nervous about my belly peeking out or really wanted to hide it, I might throw on like a white tank top or something underneath it. Or another t-shirt, but I, it just depends on how much I cared about my belly showing for the day. Sometimes I don't care at all, and sometimes I do. Fortunately, today is not one of those days, so let's get a look at this sweater in all her glory. So if you are a frequent watcher of my channel, you know I've been on my vest game for a good year at least. So, and I did buy a black vest from Lane Bryant, and I have to say this one actually fits a little better under the arm, which is one of my, which is one of my problem areas. Um, the cool thing about this vest is it comes down quite a bit past my knee, um, almost mid shin area, and it does zip all the way up the front. This has a hood with a couple of drawstrings here that are functional. It has a couple of very well-placed uh, zippered pockets where I can just easily slide my hands in right where I want to put them. So I'm really smitten with this uh, vest, or I suppose at this length you could really call it a gilet, but um, whatever it is, I'm absolutely in love, and this is getting a lot of wear until the weather warms up a little too much. But for where we are in this kind of in-between 40s, 50s, 60s kind of weather. I never know what's going on. This is such a valuable layering piece. This one will be really nice to throw on with like leggings and just a basic long sleeve t-shirt and run out to do a couple of errands. So let's get a look at this full vest. I don't know if I'll be able to show you all the way down to the bottom, but it does not have any kind of weird cuff or gathering at the bottom. It's just straight down. It does not have any interior pockets. But again, it does have a full zip. If I wanted to, I could zip this up all the way, but I don't think I would ever actually wear it like that because if it was cold enough to need a vest zipped up all the way, I probably would just grab a jacket. So anyway, let's get a look at this lady and I hope you love her as much as I do.
All right, this next guy is another jacket. Um, this one is in a 2830, and it's not my absolute favorite. I love a trench jacket. I have a couple of them already, but I'm looking for a nicer one. Mine is starting to get beat up, and unfortunately, this is not it. This is a very, this is one of those pieces that has the style and the look that you might want, but there's really no substance to it. It's in a very thin polyester that kind of feels like an umbrella. So while it might actually be water repellent, it's really noisy and it doesn't feel that great so and of course you know given the price point you can expect that it's not lined the part here in the front where the material folds back is not tacked down so it's kind of flapping away i don't like where the pockets are placed way over on the actual side instead of in the front i think front pockets are a lot better for a jacket and this does fit according to the measurements um, that were listed for 2830 so in that regard, it is right on spec, but again, the quality is just not there. So this is not something I'm keeping, but I will definitely show you what she looks like. Let's take a look. Well, this jacket is certainly cute and kooky, but it does not match the sweater underneath it whatsoever, so please uh, disregard that. But this is a great single-breasted uh, flannel shirt jacket. It is not lined, so that's why I say shirt jacket, but um, certainly the flannel would give it a little bit of warmth, again, in this kind of mild post-winter weather. The sleeves are not super, super long. <clears throat> Oh, this is in a 3234. I don't think I mentioned that. It does have these cute little hammered silver buttons, so it's a nice detail to not just have something totally plasticky and generic here. I think this has three, maybe four buttons down the front. Um, this one overlaps on me just a little bit when I stand up, so I actually like that. I don't prefer taking the time to just button the jacket all the way down. So I like that this overlaps just a little bit and I can tie it and that the tie is, is nice and ample. So, um, as you can tell, I think, hope you can tell, this has the two-tone plaid look, so the front and the back is purple, the sleeves are brown, um, the belt is brown. I don't think there's any more brown on the back, but I could be mistaken. Um, let's have a look and find out. So this next shirt is cute, but another little bit of a disappointment because of the fabric. This one is mostly polyester with a little bit of elastane. When I looked at this on the website, I didn't bother looking at the fabrication. I knew it would be some kind of a polyester blend, but I'd hoped this would look a little more like a cotton and embroidery, but of course it's not. I mean, it's Shein. This was probably just a few bucks, so I needed to adjust my expectations. But um, I have a feeling this is probably going to look a little cute, even though it doesn't feel cute. It has a run in the fabric down here, like um, the quality control is not there, so, which I'm kind of surprised about. Most of my Shein stuff does not arrive damaged, but it's not a big, huge thing, and it was probably easy to overlook. This is definitely a shirt where your arms would be out, so you have to be comfortable with that, which I don't particularly care about, um, but this would probably still look cute layered with a jean jacket or maybe a white short sleeve tee underneath. And if you are looking for shirts like that, um, I recommend checking out a brand called Half Tees. They have a couple of, they have a couple of t-shirt cuts that come up to a size 6X, which is pretty stretchy. They're in a nice cottony fabric, but the shirts only come down to just past your bust. So they're really nice and comfortable. You can get different sleeve lengths. I like the elbow sleeve shirt just because of the comfort um, and I like the look of that style but they do have one that's shorter and I think they have a sleeveless so anyway not sponsored just an unusual company I came across 
on Instagram and I have a few of their t-shirts and I do recommend them. So let's take a look at this shirt and then I will move on to the next one. Next shirt is a little bit of a surprise. So I could see in the photos that this was a green, almost a check, but I did not realize it's like a mesh. So this is an extremely soft shirt in a polyester elastane blend. I was trying to remember what the tag said. And this is a 3234. Um, me and button up shirts don't always get along partly because of the fit and partly because of my irritation level when I feel stiff shirts up around my neck and especially when they're bulky in here I just like sensory overload so this being in a, in a nice soft um, mesh knit kind of material is really nice so I'd have to figure out the bra situation or if I cared that it's ever so slightly transparent uh, depending on where I was going but overall this is pretty nice uh, this one does not have a ton ton of room if you had an apron belly but it is consistent with the measurements that I saw on Shein's website. However, this is really stretchy, so if you were a little bigger than the size they showed and you didn't mind if this was a little fitted on you, this would stretch to fit someone a little larger. Just because of the stretch in the material, the elastane in that blend, as we expected, the cuffs come a little bit over my hands. Um, which again is not a terribly difficult fix. Let's take a look. Okay, this shirt is quite a cutie, but obviously sheer. I should probably be wearing a tank top under this to avoid the distraction. But it's my brassiere, so um, I might wear this this way with like black pants and a black bra if I were going out with my husband for like a date or to a bar or to a club, something like that. Um, but for just like the average everyday wear, I probably would wear a tank. Um, this is a baby doll cut top. It's a little bit roomy it has just a tiny bit of stretch as well as a stretch waistband it's like ruffly at the bottom you'll see when I stand up it's really full um, did I already say this is a 32 34 um, this the tag says it is 100% polyamide I haven't looked um, online but I don't know if polyester and polyamide are different. I assume they're in the same family and that it's a synthetic fabric because this isn't the softest thing I've ever worn. Um, it's not terribly scratchy like a tulle ballet skirt might be, but it has a little stiffness to it. I'm not sure what else I can say other than it's really cute. I'm glad I picked it up on a whim. I thought it might be too short, but I hoped in the larger sizes it might graduate to a slightly longer length. And it does. It fits uh, consistent with the measurements for the bust and the waist and the hip that they uh, showed online. And I'm really impressed. This is a unique piece that I wouldn't be able to pick up somewhere else. So thank you, Shein. Let's take a look. This must be the season for sheer pink shirts, so I thought I would show you another one in my pile. This one is a knitted mesh, but it's still polyester. It feels perfectly comfortable. We have a little bit of a cuff, like a knit cuff, at the bottom, which I appreciate because it is a little bit sliding over my hands unless I open my fingers up all the way. Um, this one also is not terribly long, even though it's a size 32-34. It does come just midway down my hip, um, so it is not going to disguise my belly nor my booty, which is fine. This is another top, again, I probably would wear with a white tank top underneath, or black or yellow or whatever. 
obviously I've not washed this yet so I don't know if it will shrink. I probably would just hand wash this and flat dry it to be on the safe side. But I think it's super cute and again it's a nice unusual piece that I would never expect to find at another store that sells in my size, uh, aka Tord or Lane Bryant. Um, so I appreciate Shein giving us some of these unusual things. Let's take a look. If you're curious what I'm doing behind me when I stand up, there's a kitty sleeping in that little basket right here, even though she's black and you can't see her, she's incognito. That's little Miss Nefertiti. To not be a pink person, I'm surprised how much pink I have in this haul. Uh, this particular blouse is in a 32-34, 100% polyester. I have the same top in like a cobalt blue, royal blue kind of color. Um, and I really like it, but it has a different sleeve. Um, even though it has the same kind of exaggerated shirt tail hem and really long tunic length, what I hate are these unfinished sleeves. Well, they're finished in terms of having a, a hem, but they look like somebody forgot what they were doing and just put this at the end. So fortunately, I realized this has a little bit of a roll-up cuff with a little loop, so that makes it look a little better, not great. Um, but at least it keeps it off of my hands, which as you know is a big annoyance for me So not a lot to say about this shirt I think it would look really cute with leggings and some kind of little flats if you were just running out doing errands or grabbing a quick lunch This next blouse is also in a 32-34. It's the exact same material as that last pink button-up shirt. So it has kind of like a nice uh, crepey feel even though it's polyester, which is still perfectly comfortable. Um, I know the details might be hard to see because it's in plain black, but this does have a half button placket here. This has a little bit of a stitched in roll at the short sleeve, um, which seems to be staying well enough. And of course, in classic Shein style, it's really oversized, um, but super comfortable. So let's take a look. At first glance, the top of this shirt is just the same as the previous, but it has a surprise at the bottom. So the upper body here looks like a short sleeve button up, all polyester. This one has an elasticized cuff at the sleeve. Um, this one is also an elbow sleeve. Well, it's kind of big in the top, so when I put my arm down, it's more like a three quarter sleeve. This one says it's 100% polyester, but they recommend hand washing or dry cleaning no dryer and you have to be very careful with the iron um, i'd suggest probably using a steamer the bottom of this is fully a polyester tool material so it is see-through and about almost full length on me i think so you won't be able to see all the way to the bottom but this is another shirt that would look super cute with maybe with some leather look leggings and boots or heels or whatever to go out and also i threw my hair up in a clip so if it looks crazy in the back just kidding. Not much else to say. Let's take a look. So welcome again to a full view of my brassiere. But uh, this shirt 
is very similar to the other black netted shirt except as you can see this one is net all the way up but it too is still very long almost to my ankle the mesh on this one has a little bit of a swiss dot This next t-shirt is a little bit of a disappointment. I've wanted this for a good year and never ordered it because I was afraid the material would be disappointing and in fact it is. So this one's a 3234, which is a Shein 8X and it is so cute. I might have to forgive the fabric, but in person, it's really obvious that the black and white part is like a slimy polyester, whereas the neon is more of a regular knit. Also, this is definitely a little bit snug on me around the hip. I'm sure I saw that in the measurements, but still wanted to give it a try because it's so cute. Um, this one also has a little bit of that chemical smell. It's definitely not as roomy as some of the other shirts in the same size, but if you are a little smaller than me, then this might be worth checking out as long as the polyester material doesn't bother you. They had this also in a combination where the yellow was pink or orange, maybe green or something else. Um, this neon yellowy green though is one of my favorite colors, so I had to get it. Jury's out as to whether or not she's gonna make it into my actual closet, but let's get a look at the full shirt and then move on. Okay, this next shirt is crazy and it's driving me nuts, but I do uh, love the bright colors and the surprise is that on the lower part of the body, this is uh, cut into fringe all the way down to the knee, maybe below the knee. However, as you will see, it gets really stuck together. So you can kind of comb it out, but it just, as soon as you move, it bounces back up into a knot. So um, it's 100% polyester. I think that might be the problem. I've never had one of these fringy shirts like this before. But my one, that's not true. The one I have from Torrid that's fringe in the back doesn't do this. So I don't know if it's because of the material that's doing it or the length of the fringes. I wonder if maybe putting beads on the bottom of these would help. But uh, with my arthritic hands, that does not sound like a fun project anymore like it would have at one point in time so this is probably going back but if you don't mind fussing with that or you're looking for a great festival shirt this uh, certainly would work for that this probably needs like a tank under it maybe or else you'd have to be comfortable showing your belly your bum whatever and I don't think these jeans go all the way up over my booty in the back so you will probably see that with this shirt on as well but let's get a look anyway and move on to the next This is a polyester viscose blend. Um, it feels like a knit, like a t-shirt type material, but it's not like, it kind of has that polyester type feel, you can tell. Nonetheless, I really like the detailing here on the shoulder and the sleeve. I usually don't like a cold shoulder shirt anymore. I'm kind of over it, it's been done for so long. Um, but this I think is kind of fun probably would wear a different bra, maybe a black one, so it's a little more discreet. But uh, this will be a nice airy shirt to wear in the spring and summer when it starts warming up. And it's a nice length for those who are trying to cover a little bit of a tum. So let's get a look at this shirt and move on to the next one.
The next two shirts I'm showing have a sporty appeal. Um, this one I think says California. This I thought would be really, really cute, but it is the nastiest polyester material. This feels like the lining of a really, really cheap dress, and it's not even stretchy. So this does fit me, and I will certainly link to it down below, but unfortunately, I cannot recommend it. Um, this one, on the other hand, looks more like, I assume, a soccer shirt or just a generic um, Brazil t-shirt. This one is in a polyester cotton blend with just a little bit of elastane. Um, definitely has more of a tomboy kind of fit. The sleeves are really big um, and really long, but maybe that was part of the design element. Um, this shirt is a little boxy fitting, so it's big up top and a little more narrow or closer fitting, I should say, to the bottom portion of my body. Um, this one does come down, I think, most of the way over my booty and my belly, if that is of concern to you, and let's take a look. So I have a couple of these kind of baby doll maternity looking dresses or tunics uh, for how I will wear them because I don't like my lower legs showing. I know that some of you are not going to like these and that is just fine. I love kind of a floaty, airy shirt dress. Um, I think this would look really cute with a little t-shirt under it or maybe a contrasting color caftan over it or even a short little sweater of some kind. But I think this will be a great layering piece. And if you wanted, this is certainly easy enough or modest enough to wear out just as is if you are an arm shower. A nice feature of this is that the back is fully elasticized, um, which carries to partway under the arm. So this does fit closer to the body up here, um, which I certainly appreciate. I am going to wear this top for a couple of jacket try-on. I don't know that the color matches. If I can find the black one, I'll wear it instead, but I think I'm just going to roll with this pink. Um, so I will show you this dress by itself, and then I'm going to show you something that is a little bit of a fail for me. It's just too much design for my how I feel about my station in life right now. Too much distressing. So this is a jean jacket. that is extremely long and it's just a little too narrow in the hip or the lower body. This is a size 32-34 so even though a lot of the other 32-34s have fit and had plenty of room this one is very straight and I knew from looking at the measurements that it probably wouldn't work but I wanted to give it a shot anyway partly because of the unique design and just to you know have some unique things to show you guys. This is a really nice like expensive feeling jacket you could think that you picked up a Tord. A Tord might do a little bit of fraying, but not like this. So, so let's get a look at the dress, which again, I have in black as well. So use your imagination. And then I will also show you the jacket. I found the little float dress in black. It was just blending in with everything else I had in my uh, pile here that 
was next to it in black. However, this next item is the, quite the opposite of that. Um, this is a short sweater vest in a size 2830. This is one of the nicest quality items that I picked up on my order. Um, but I am really, really wiped out at the moment. Um, these try-ons are really hard on me with all my autoimmune disease stuff going on. So I'm going to take a little break from that and just sit here and show you this sweater sitting down because it's just a little shorty. I love a short, more fitted vest because a lot of times they're fun. And because if I'm wearing, say, a big men's style button-up shirt that's really bulky up top um, this will rein it in a bit in the body and then allow the rest of the shirt to kind of flow away i'll give you just a little look this just comes to the waist which again is um an intentional design preference the light color in here is baby pink it's not white or cream so i'm just totally smitten with this it reminds me so much of rainbow bright she is 49 percent viscose 28 percent polyester and 23 percent polyamide i'm really gonna have to look up this polyamide and see what kind of a fabric it is even though again i'm sure it's synthetic viscose i'm not sure i've heard both ways but never really looked it up for myself to see if that's a natural fabric or man-made, but the feel of this sweater is one of the nicest things that I got in this order. It makes me very happy. I will definitely layer this with um, maybe like a white or a blue and white button-up shirt and some jeans, like ripped up jeans. I think that'll be really cute. So let's move on to the next item. Like I said, I'm gonna leave this on for a few try-ons. So, so the next item I'm showing you is this yellowy tan vest with a hood you know i'm in love with the vest right now you can cinch in the waist of this vest i'm glad i looked at the tag for this vest because i'm absolutely blown away the exterior of this is 100 percent cotton and i thought it felt nice but i did not realize that they made anything with 100 percent cotton so the liner of course is polyester like i would expect from most places and at least when it's poly on the inside number one it's going to be warm and number two it is smooth so it won't um, stick to whatever i'm wearing underneath it let me stand up so you can get a look at the full thing. This is my last vest out of the bunch, and she's a good one, although she does not work for me. So this is in a 3234, but it is smaller cut. And I knew it was smaller cut again when I bought it because when you pick your size, it, it, there's a little box that expands down underneath that tells you the measurements for everything. So I knew that this would be probably small, but every now and then a small vest looks just fine, especially if you're gonna leave it open. This one has a gathered bottom. So I figured I would leave it open, but it's pretty obvious that it doesn't close all the way and I don't like that look. So so while this is not a win for me, I think it would be a win for someone who maybe is closer to like a five or a four on top at Torrid. Um, this is a nice denim heavyweight vest with great details. Um, let me stand up so you can get a look at her. I was wrong, there's one more vest. And if you will recall last year, I tried on a black suit vest from Shein that initially I was not impressed with, but it really grew on me and I found myself wearing it all summer with just like a basic tee and some leggings or jean leggings or whatever. 
Well, they had it in additional colors and I missed out on the brown, but I was able to pick up this dark green. Um, this is polyester, but again, it's really comfortable and stretchy. The pockets in the front are not real. It is not the most expensive material. I don't think I would wear this to work necessarily because I wear more corporate looking um, tire and this looks inexpensive. Nonetheless, the color is beautiful. The length is great. Um, this fits me a little better than the black one did last year because I've lost a little bit of weight. I am on a Manjaro weight loss journey. So even though I'm a six with Torrid, I am losing a little bit of size and I still can't wear their darn blasted jeans. But other than that and most of their items, they have some things where I'm beginning to be able to size down to a five. So just use that as reference when you think about this vest. When I was bigger and had my full belly, it did not uh, close all the way, but it was still comfortable. Anyway, let's take a look at this vest and then I will move on to the last couple of jackets and then we have a couple of dresses and skirts. So this shirt jacket I was really excited to get. I love lightweight denim shirt jackets. And I've been on the hunt for the perfect one or ones that I could add to my collection. And this one is pretty great. So she has a snap front. Oh, it's a size 32-34. It is mostly cotton with a little bit of poly and a little bit of viscose. We have pearl covered snap closures. Obviously not real pearls, but I like that pearl effect which is what the snaps are all the way down the front. This is a really nice looking shirt. I love the light wash. I love that it's machine washable. The sleeves are a little big, but again, not critical. And maybe I can cuff them just a little bit. Yeah, I'd probably wear these rolled up anyway. So no big deal. Uh, let me stand up before my camera dies and show you what this looks like. This one I'm going to talk about but not bother trying it on. I've worn these in a previous video. This is an 8X 3234. Just a basic oversized white tee. It definitely fits oversized. But I like these tees to wear with a vest that's a little more fitted on the body. And I, li I like the way it cinches in. So I didn't want to bother trying this on. As I said, it's a 3234. It is 95% polyester and 5% elastane. So again, not the greatest feeling t-shirt, but I like the big boxy fit of it and it's nearly tunic length. So I do still recommend if that's something you're looking for. I may well get a thumbs down on the video for this one, but I am not trying this shirt on. Again, I'm just really, really fading and getting too tired to keep changing clothes and getting up and down. Um, this shirt fit me well when I tried it on um, when my stuff arrived. It is just a little snug in the hip, but I liked the two-tone black and blue. It is solid black on the back and um, on one sleeve. The right sleeve is blue, just like the right side of the shirt is blue. This is a polyester flannel, but it feels nice and soft. It's in a size 32-34. It did fit me very well. I will, of course, link it. And I do recommend, I just didn't, again, feel like using my hands to undo all these buttons which will hurt my, my arthritic fingers. So let's move on to the next item. I found another glorious sweater hiding in my pile and had to give her a little bit of a show here. So this sweater is nice and long. It also is sheer, so it does need, for my personal lifestyle, it does need a tank or a t-shirt underneath or a button-up shirt even underneath. But um, I love the distressing on it. Let's see if you can see that 
here going up the arm. It has a couple of distressed parts in the body, but it's not overkill. Just like the other sweaters, this is 100% acrylic and it is extremely soft. If I had gotten this earlier in the winter, I probably would be living in it, even if I didn't leave home. This is the kind of sweater that I would just want to camp out in. The colors are really vibrant. Hopefully that's showing up on camera. Um, I'm really loving the purple in this. I usually don't wear purple because I don't want to be called Barney, but I do love purple, so I like having a little bit of it in the sweater. <laughs> Let's take a quick look. So I did end up throwing on this oversized boxy white t-shirt just so I could show you a couple of other skirts and dresses. This one's a little odd. This is a 24-26 and 100% polyester, but I could tell from the cut this was quite a tent dress. So I like how unusual this is. It kind of has a more utilitarian look, but the material is not great. It's polyester, it makes noise, it's really stiff. And if this had maybe an elastic waist built into it, I would really, really love it. But as is, it's just not something I can recommend unless you really like the shape. Some of you are probably gonna think this looks like a maternity dress, and it kind of does. But I like that weird, almost log and look uh, style. Something in my order came with a tie belt, but this was just in the box, so I don't know what it belonged to. It could be this dress but it's not the same material, so I don't think that's it. But certainly you could belt this if you wanted. Let's take a look. Okay, y'all, we're nearing the end, and I have another pink item to show you. This is a tulle pleated uh, longer length skirt. This is almost, almost full length on me, which I appreciate, and it is lined, which I also appreciate. Um, the lining is polyester, but honestly, it doesn't feel any different than the lining at Torrid. The only difference is this has an exposed elastic waist, where if I got this from Torrid, it probably would be enclosed. But it's a perfectly comfortable skirt. Um, adds a little personality to an outfit. Um, you can definitely tell it's polyester, but again, I don't know. I don't know what tool is normally made out of, but at least this is soft and doesn't poof out everywhere. So, And the two pieces don't stick together. So let's take a quick look. You probably won't be able to see all the way to the bottom, but I will do my best. Let's take a look. Okay, last item and it's a dress. Good thing this is the last item because my battery is about to die. So this dress is very pretty on camera. It's pretty in real life. Um, it is almost 100% polyester though, so it's noisy. It has that sound when you move, um, even when you just barely move, and it's really slippery. So I'm not sure how comfortable this would be at work, maybe for church with like a vest or a jean jacket. Um, this has a waist tie. 
separate, but I'm not going to fuss with it, to be honest with you. It has an elastic waist, and the skirt is in a couple, no, three tiers. Um, but the top tier is nice and roomy, so you don't have to worry about it binding around the stomach or the booty. This would be beautiful for photographs or maybe a nice event where you're not going to be doing a lot of walking. Polyester also is pretty hot, so this might warm up underneath. Uh, too much to be worn in summer. I'm going to back up and show this to you. Of course, you probably won't be able to see the bottom, but it is full length on me. And again, I'm about five foot four, just a little under five four. It does not have pockets, and I'm terribly sorry, but I can't remember the size, and I can't see it with the dress on, so I will be sure to list it in the description box if it's something you're interested in. Let's take a look. give you an up close view of all these colors and also I forgot to mention that this has a button closure at the back of the halter I guess that's kind of a halter I'm not sure what you would call it my bra straps are kind of competing for attention but yeah this comes up and has a close fit neck I was able to fit it over without buttoning it even with my little clip in so it was perfectly easy to get on all right, so that's everything I had to show you. Let's close out this video. All right, y'all, that's the end of the video. Thank you for being here, and I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you found it useful and informational as you consider what things to buy to put on your body. I know exactly how hard that can be. I had a paniculectomy over a year ago. It's made a huge difference in my life and my mobility and trying to find things to fit. So if you are in an opportunity to get one and you're thinking about it, I do encourage you to talk to your surgeon and your and your doctors and figure out if it's the right thing for you. So other than that, I put back on what I was most comfortable in and most pleased with, which is this vest. I am probably going to run and grab a little bit of lunch, so I'm going to take off and hopefully get this video posted soon. <laughs> the editing process for all of this number of pieces will not be short, so... In fact, this video is probably going to be a good hour long. Hopefully you enjoy that. In fact, some of my videos have been a little longer lately. Do you guys enjoy that? Do you like spending this time together? Or do you want me to try to condense where I overlay me talking with the clothes try on portion over top? I did some videos that way last year. Kind of mixed it up. It's easier for me to edit in sequence instead of layering that over the top. And I like watching long videos from my favorite creators, so I don't know if I'm a favorite creator of yours, but um, yeah, let me know in the comments what you think about these long video lengths, and if you would prefer something a little more succinct. Okay, so as I always say, there were some hits and misses in this try-on, but with any company that's to be expected, especially Shein, I think you have to hunt for the diamonds in the rough and try on a lot of things. I'm looking at this pile on my couch and I can see that you really have to try on a lot to find maybe the four, five, six pieces that you really want to keep. Um, I look forward to the day that I can wear their pants if that opportunity presents itself because that is of course an area where I have the most difficulty along with a lot of other plus size babes. Okay, with all that being said, have a wonderful week. Don't forget to subscribe, share, comment, Link the video if you feel like it, and uh, do ring the bell if you want to be notified when I post my next video. Bye, y'all.